Hi, you guys. My name is Dr. Cade, and I'm here with Dr. Duane, the newest addition to our Life Strength Health Center team. Hello. And uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about extremity pain, extremity adjusting, and um, the expert over here. So, been in practice for the last 10 years, and uh, we've become experts at family wellness. Um, and I will be the first one to say that I am not very good at taking care of extremities. Yes, general stuff, simple stuff. I think we've uh, we've gotten by, but we don't want to just get by at this office. We want the best of the best. So mm -hmm. um, I cannot believe how good Dr. Duane is at identifying what's going on and correcting it. It's uh, completely at a whole different level of anything that I was ever taught in school, anything I was ever uh, uh, taught through seminars. So let's jump into it a little bit. So extremity adjusting. Um, mm -hmm. I know that you're passionate about it. You even yep. have some extra letters behind your name. Yep. Can you tell everybody what that means? They don't mean too much, but it's a certified chiropractic extremity practitioner. What it means is, is I went to extra schooling to uh, diagnose and to help with different extremity issues. And what an extremity is, is anything that's off of the spine, the neck, the middle back, and the lower back. And as Dr. Cade uh, had mentioned, is you are an expert. When I look at him, you can see the passion in him correcting the spine, correcting the curvature, helping the nervous system flow out and, and do its job and get to the organs and get to the soft tissues and make them work properly. Uh, me as an athlete, and, and I won't discredit you because he was an athlete too, but I just, I look at the body as everybody is an athlete deep down, whether or not you're sitting or standing, we're all moving. So if you're a moving person, you're an athlete to me. And so I like to look at biomechanics, nervous system, that, that's what my training helps me do is I, I look at uh, what should be normal and compare it to what you have going on. And a lot of times people like to come in when they're in pain and uh, I like to look at people uh, before they even get to pain. And I think that's where I excel at is, is giving people a, a look and say, hey, if we work on these things based on what you do as an athlete or someone that sits at a desk or what, what, whatever it might be, we can help reduce the, the, uh, the um, likelihood of you getting shoulder pain, elbow pain, you know, uh, carpal tunnel, whatever it might be, and that's that's what my training and backgrounds and what my passions in. I love it, and again, you can see his passion, and uh, you're also just like a diagnostician. I mean, it's unbelievable how in depth I like you get into the cause. Of the, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, and it's more than just pain. You know, yep. I, I see sometimes, you know, somebody will show you where it hurts here or here, and I see you digging off on somewhere, you know, other place, and you're talking about how that's referred and how yep. that's going back. So um, let's let's maybe let's go joint by joint, and let's talk about some of the symptoms that people are dealing with the pain. Some the diagnoses that you give those patients and yep. kind of how that flows. So should we just start yep. with the shoulder? Yeah, we can start with the shoulder. I'll, I'll even jump back to where you just pointed to that is a lot of people say, doc, the pain's right here. And we know as chiropractors that just because there's pain here doesn't mean that there's always an issue with the elbow. It might be coming from the neck. I take it even a step further. We look at the brain. The left side of the brain controls the right side of the body in most cases. Right brain controls the left side of the body. So I'm always looking at function, uh, coordination, uh, compensation, whether it's nervous system or if it's just muscular, where you see where one muscle is overcompensating for a weak muscle in the back, that generally give people issues. So if we jump into the shoulder, a couple things uh, that we've dealt with in the clinic here already is we've had patients that have had 80% uh, tears of their shoulder where they are uh, in, in a job where they constantly have to be reaching and using their arm and, and moving it constantly. And uh, they can't take time off to let that heal. They, they, they can't take six months off to get a so shoulder surgery. So we have to find ways for those types of people uh, to, to get through their job or get through their day. Not everyone has that luxury of just taking time off and doing that and having a husband or a wife that can, that can make up for that income. So that's I'm so passionate about keeping those people on the court per se or in their jobs. So uh, another thing I, I like to deal with is impingement with shoulders and also uh, people who are active still to this day, whether you're 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 90, we've worked with people who are tennis players, pickleball players, uh, volleyball, NCAA players, basketball, football, uh, and golfers. Yep, and golfers, big yep. time down here. So uh, always looking at function, biomechanics, uh, muscle movements, patterns from left shoulder to right shoulder. Um, I've also played most of those sports too, so I understand the biomechanics behind them and how you might be doing them improperly. So I like to give people tips on, well, this is what we can do to strengthen areas that we're weak at and then make them better. And that might not always be just muscular, it might be neurologically where it's more of a movement pattern that isn't happening fast enough, where it's slow in the lower extremities, which is causing an upper extremity to overwork, say in the golf swing. 
I mean, it's incredible to me how comprehensive that is. So um, old injuries, new injuries, again, our body comes up with um, adaptive behaviors to mm -hmm. overcome and uh, survive and still function and perform. Yep. But sometimes that can create bigger problems down the road. So yep, you're finding time. what's going on, the patterns, you're retraining, you're correcting. So again, that was the shoulder you talked about. Um, rotator cuff tears, you talked about impingement. Did you say something else too in there? Another other, other symptoms that you're doing? Uh, let's see. Um, I mean, I've seen you work with your shoulder. Yeah. Oh, we have a, a thoracic outlet syndrome or anything where people are getting numbness uh, down the arms. Uh, and you know, just, that could just be from sitting at the desk where they're starting to get numbness and tingly. It's just uh, widespread or diffuse down the arms. So, I mean, that that is a shoulder and a neck related issue. But, uh, you know, a lot of times patients, when they come into the chiropractor, just because we are spinal and, and uh, yeah. spine experts, is they just tell us about the neck and the back. And so that's kind of my sign off when I'm working with patients is, well, how's, how's your, you know, ears, eyes, nose, elbows, and toes? You know, I just throw that, and people laugh, but they go, you know what, I have had this. You know, everybody says that, right? Yeah, everybody, yeah. everybody, everybody goes, it. well, now that you mention it, I do have this, and they don't understand that we can look at that stuff, and we can help help fix that. Um, we've been co-managing plenty of patients, um, for, again, with people with shoulder issues that I just have not been able to get down to the root of it, and uh, we sent them over to see Dr. Duane, and again, it's incredible how excited they are um, to actually have less pain, more range of motion, and be able to get back to normal life again that's just the shoulder so let's jump yep. into the elbow let's jump into the wrist next yep. um, again you, know, you talked about this chain coming down the hands whether somebody's sitting at the desk working on the computer or again you know overusing their hands and their yep. wrists so talking about some of the symptoms that people are dealing with there yep. and what you see I think from a, a, st a start point is I always start at the spine though you know that's that's still I'm a, I'm a wellness expert and I want to work with the spine and make sure we clear out anything in the spine first awesome. then in the shoulder and then we start working our way down yep. to this chain because this, this this is it's just a biomechanical chain if this isn't working well we're going to compensate right through there so something at the elbow which we're familiar with down here is like a tennis elbow and some people go doc i don't play tennis elbow that is just a diagnosis that we use as doctors to say it's coming from this part of the elbow it could be golfer's elbow inside here it doesn't matter what we call it it's a matter of you know how do we diagnose it and treat it after that and we always want to look above stream and below stream and we don't always just want to say hey because the pain is here this is the only spot i'm touching today that's why I can't laugh. I'm usually working all the way up on the opposite side of the neck there. So so again, let's just make sure that we're clear on that. Problems that are experiencing in the hand, the wrist, and the elbow can actually come from the neck. Tell yep. them a little bit more about what could be happening up here that can refer the pain down here. Definitely, definitely. Well, say if it's an older patient who's been a, a tennis star that we worked with. Um, she's, she had some pain that was directly in the shoulder here, but we really had to work on a lot of the muscles and the neurology and the nerves coming through here because we had some arthritis built up in that lower neck. Yeah. So that can flare up nerves that are exiting there and telling muscles what to do. Also, relaying back up to the brain on the left side, they're saying, hey, this is a sensation that I'm perceiving. I'm getting pinched off here. Don't fire that muscle very well or much because you know the brain is trying to protect that shoulder from getting injured. So that's where things like impingement come into play. That's where things like you know, restricted movement in the elbow come into play. So again, we're not just talking about the symptoms of pain that they're dealing with, but you're also talking about a loss of function, loss of strength, yep. loss of coordination. Okay, yep. perfect. And, and people tend to say, I'm just getting old, doc. And that, I just always laugh. I'm just like, what? Do, I don't, it, it's okay to get old, but unless we're doing something to co counter react that, you know, whatever it is, supplements, or, or, you know, if you're sitting all day long, you're like, oh, my posture is horrible. Okay, well, let's do something about that. So it's just a matter of, counteracting what you do in the daily daily life. Yeah, I think that's a, a, another conversation, uh, the difference between what's common, and a lot of it's very common that people, when they get yeah. older, are less active and they're yeah. starting to get more symptoms versus yeah. what's normal. Our body is, the normal state is health, and we'll save that for another video. Yep. Um, but uh, I don't know if you guys got to see the, the position that Dr. Duane got into, but he pulled his shoulders forward, his head came forward, forward head posture, and uh, we see that a lot with students, yep. we see that a lot with people who love texting, working yep. on the computer, textbooks, reading, and it's so important to open everything back up. Yep. Otherwise, neck, shoulders, hands, wrists, elbows, all the above yeah. starts to become affected. So let's go down into the lower extremity. So sure. we're talking about hips, knees, feet. What are some of the symptoms that you see there? And um, yeah. Yeah, what people are dealing with again? Well, and the hip is very close to the lower back there. And a lot of people are always gonna point at their lower back. But when we start looking at some of the, uh, the muscles in the front here, we can have things like a lower cross syndrome where some of the uh, hip flexors are tight, the glute muscles are weak, the lower back is gonna be tight on patients. So like I said, always starting at the spine there, but then we come and look at some of the lower muscles and how they function. What is range of motion like in the hip there? 
what's the coordination like? A lot of people don't think about how, how coordinated is my lower leg. They just say, I don't have good balance. Well, when we go check it, you know, we can really see that, yeah, you're very uncoordinated on this leg compared to this. And they go, well, yeah, I guess in yoga, I can't really stand on this hip as good. Is, it, is, is there a reason for that? And I go, well, where's all your pain? Well, yeah, I guess it is on that side. So it's just a matter of just diagnosing that and saying, hey, what are the muscles that control that? What area of the brain controls that? How can we examine that? And how can we also send you home with some things to do about it? It's been pretty funny to see the questions that Dr. Duane asked people that sometimes seem so unrelated and you see their wheel spinning, but then you connect the dots oh and everything makes sense. I love yeah. it. And I also really enjoy how much he ties the neurology, the left brain, the right brain, and some specific rewiring there that you're doing yep. to help people get back to normal function and normal feeling. So yep. um, uh, just personal testimony really quick. I have uh, definitely some shoulder issues and some wrist issues from adjusting people all day, every day, which I love to do. Mm -hmm. um, but I've really had it after 10 years of practice. I just have almost settled into this is this is normal for me. Yeah. Um, but you've really opened it up and, and let me know that uh, this can be corrected. And I've never felt better. It's absolutely incredible. And I actually get adjusted my elbows and my uh, wrists and my shoulders get adjusted less by you because yeah. your adjustments are actually sticking around and staying. So I'm not yeah. dependent on you. It's 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 phenomenal. I never would have guessed that. So let's see. Um, how about uh, does somebody have to have pain? Does somebody have to have a diagnosis? Does somebody have to be scheduled for surgery to come see you? Does somebody have to wait until after surgery to come see you? When do you see, when do you see people? When can you help them? I mean, I'd love if, if everyone just came in for wellness to get that pre-check to get me, if they understood what I could do, where I could say, hey, well, based on what you do throughout the day, these are the five things I normally see coming, people coming in with, it, whether it's elbow, shoulder, knee, whatever it might be. I love that. But everyone usually comes in afterwards where they're like, oh, doc, I already went and had surgery. Um, you know, my knee is just hurting. They told me I can't do anything. I've already been through the PT. That didn't help me. I love those types of patients because it's like, okay, well, let's take a step back here. You guys have done all the MRIs. You've done all that tough work where you went and looked at microscopically at the knee. Let's take a step back and look at overall global function and how this affects the entire chain there. And if that's not right, then that's what we want to go on and do. It might be soft tissue work. It might be neurological work. It might be biomechanic work. It's going to be all of it usually. And uh, it's just a matter of how much, how long, and how much I'm going to make you do at home, too. Well, I think you brought up a couple points there. So um, uh, chiropractic is so valuable because it can help prevent injuries uh, before they actually happen. It can yeah. help the body heal those injuries the right way. You know, you see a lot of young athletes, but you also see people in their 40s, 50s, 60s exactly. that didn't have those injuries when they were young corrected the right way. Now yeah. it's a bigger issue. It's a more expensive issue. It's it harder to time. come back from, yeah. It's, it's, it takes more time. Where if you're a younger athlete and say you just sprained your ankle at a volleyball tournament, um, you know, that, that might be something where, you know, usually the patient would be told to sit out for two weeks and just let things, let things heal. But what's, what's really happening is we're losing balance. We're losing proprioception at that ankle, losing range of motion. Then it's harder to come back from that stuff, even at that young of an age where, you know, if we got on it right away, which most of my patients that sprain their ankles, they know they come in right afterwards. We check them for x-rays and make sure there's no fractures. Then we treat the soft tissues. We get them doing balance or coordination activities to tolerance and then we get them back on the court within days. Yeah, it's incredible. You yeah. are a magic worker. So uh, last couple of questions here, Doc. Um, what, what other types of things are you doing besides just using your hands? Are you using any other therapies with tools yep. or with things like that? And then lastly, are you the one that's doing the healing? Are you the one that's fixing them? Are you giving them anything to do at Perfect. home outside the office? Well, a couple of things that I like to use, uh, it's called instrument-assisted soft tissue mobilization. What does that mean? It's a big word. I might use different tools, uh, uh, like stainless steel tools, to go on and work on the superficial fascia. I might do what's called fascial distortion and go and work deep, deep through the fascia and the deeper layers of the muscle with chronic conditions or even uh, new conditions, too. That helps uh, repair things almost immediately. And then uh, on top of that, we also do neurological rehab, too, where, we, like I talked about, left brain controls right body. We'll be looking at coordination, balance. Uh, organizational movement patterns, making sure everything happens exactly when it's supposed to and it's not a little choppy kind of mess there where people are very jittery and not very coordinated when they do things. That will in turn turn into more injuries, more proneness to, to re-injure joints there. And uh, on top of that, we also have vibration plate therapy in here as well. We utilize that to really overstimulate all the muscle fibers in the body. Also neurologically there too, it just helps hardwire those things in so this thing doesn't go on forever. We break all default patterns that way, right? Yep, yep, exactly, exactly. And so then on top of it, it's 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 a two-way street here. We also have to have the patients go home and do things to get these things to integrate too. I'd love to have people come in here every single day, but 
honestly, I get bored with that. I love to find, and like he said, I love to dig in and find out exactly what's going on with you, but I want to send you home to live your life so you don't have to see me every day. I want to hear the good news that you're coming back going, Doc, I felt great for a week. My swing's getting better. I can hammer the tennis ball. You know, everything goes better. So I will be giving you some things to do at home if you're able to. If not, I will do the work here. Yeah, I love it. So what he just said is the power is in your hands, um, and yep. we also don't want you to live with that diagnosis and that label uh, for the rest of your life, which I think so many people just settle for. I was on the brink of that too. So yep. um, no matter what you're dealing with, uh, Life Strength Health Center, myself, Dr. Dwayne, Dr. Carolyn, uh, we will do everything we can to find the root cause of what you're dealing with. And if we can help you, we're going to tell you that. If we can't help you, obviously we're going to tell you that too. So shoulders, elbows, wrists, hips, knees, ankles along with the multitude of other things. Um, but Dr. Dwayne is the extremity expert here. We're honored to have you, brother. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank and uh, we'll do some follow-up videos where we're gonna talk about, um, actually, you hands-on with the patients, right? Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely get some videos out there to show some more of the common injuries that people are gonna be doing. It's not even injuries, but just uh, d discomforts and complaints. We won't just talk about wellness, but we'll talk about more of the injuries that kind of, you know, has more of a direct effect with people. So we'll start with that, and then we can talk more about prevention in the future. Awesome, thanks for joining us, you guys. Have Thank a great you. day. Bye.